Hey, Dave Breslow back here with you today and today's golf tip I want to talk to you about a really important mental key. It's called reference points. You see, our minds really love reference points and many times when we're out in the golf course and we don't have anything to link to up here that's when we start going south and things start going downhill and the train goes off the tracks. So here's a really cool tip and exercise you can do to create your own reference points that you can now take out onto the golf course and use at any time you choose to. Here's the way it works. Go to the driving range, take your normal golf swing. Everybody has a rhythm. You've heard about rhythm. Rhythm is hugely important in the game of golf, as it is in most sports, and actually it is in life too. Everybody has a natural rhythm. You know when you're in it, and you know when you're out of it. So you all have a natural rhythm. We all do. So when you go to the range, find your natural rhythm. Drop a few balls and take your normal golf swing. Don't try to do anything special. Just take your normal rhythmical golf swing, the one that you know feels good. And we're going to use numbers. We're going to use three, five, and seven. So find your normal golf swing and you're going to assign the number five to that rhythm. Then I'm going to ask you to swing a little bit harder. You know what happens when we usually try to, cr to crush a shot on the golf course, right? We tighten up and we tense up and we, we swing kind of awkward and we get just the opposite of what we want. So for this drill, swing a little bit harder and assign that the number seven. So five is your normal swing, your normal, perfect, comfortable rhythm. Seven is a little bit harder than that. Now this is not scientific. Just take a swing that's a faster than a five. You'll know what that feels like. Assign that a seven. Then take a swing a little bit slower than a five, your normal rhythmical swing. Assign that a three. So now you have three, five, and seven. And there are times on the golf course when you may use any one of those swings. But what's really cool about this is you hit enough golf balls at the range. So for each number, I'm going to ask you to hit ten golf balls just to start to get the reference point. Because your mind now starts to get a reference point and goes, oh, if it could speak, it would be saying, oh, I know what a five is. Five is that rhythm that feels this way. And then when you assign seven, oh, I know what that seven is. That's when I'm swinging a little bit faster and I know what that feels like and I'm comfortable with that. Or you assign three. I know what that three feels like. A little bit slower than my normal average swing, but I know what that is. So you are constantly training your mind to be comfortable with the number and have a reference point. I know what a three, I know what a five, I know what a seven is. And so your body then corresponds to that and responds by demonstrating that particular swing that you rehearsed at the driving range. This really works. So when you're out on the course and you find yourself on any of those days when you're a little over anxious maybe, or a little uptight, and you're swinging too quick for whatever reason, all you need to do is say the number five and your mind has that reference point and it will go back to what that five feels like and all of a sudden you'll be back into rhythm. It's one of the quickest ways to get yourself back into a good rhythm that, that I've ever seen. I've seen a number of tools out there but this reference point idea seems to be one of the quickest ways that I've found to be true and a lot of golfers really like it. So give it a shot. Go to the range, get your numbers, get them assigned to what's comfortable for you, three, five, and seven, five being your normal average swing. Take that out to the golf course and anytime you find yourself out of rhythm, assign the number that works for you. Or if you want to go for a little more, plant that seven in your mind and it'll know exactly what that means for you. And you'll be able to duplicate that kind of rhythmical golf swing. So good luck with this. Have fun with it. Take it out to the, to the golf course. Practice it at the range a little bit. Take it out and see what it's like. Dave Breslow back here with you once again. Great to be here. And as always, leave a message and let's get involved in a chat in cyberspace. Thanks again for being here. Talk to you soon.